it's Marie here and welcome to this video and in this video I really have a message for you so it's nothing other than you sitting back and receiving this message which is wanting to come through and I want to first off start by saying if you've landed on this video whether you're a current subscriber regular subscriber listener um, or you you just randomly found this video I want you to know that this message is for you so I wanted to talk about and share today in this video around why you didn't come here to fit in with the norm so many of you already know this but for those of you sometimes that you just need a reminder in the middle of our day in the middle of our week whenever whenever we need a reminder and it's this it's to remind you that even though it might feel difficult on some days where you know that feeling of you're, you're different to people around you, maybe your communities, maybe your family, even your circle, your friendship circle or your colleagues or wherever you are in the world. And you may be feeling that you don't fit in. And maybe sometimes you're like me, like most of the time that feels fine. It's just how you are. Right. And there might be some times where that feels um, a little bit challenging. So this is a reminder message to you and to just shine a light on the remembrance this is just a remembrance a remembrance of why you came and why you are created the way that you're created so if you're following this message and if you've gravitated towards me and my message and this channel the awake revolution the awake revolution is all about shifting things on a collective consciousness level personally individually and worldwide so it's all about dropping the baggage, waking up the real you, and then revolutionizing how we're thinking, feeling, living, creating. So the waking up the real you bit is one of my favorite parts. I love all of it, but this is one of my favorite parts. And so what we are now moving through with the world transitioning the way it is, and we've we've gone through this since 2020, all the craziness, the agendas, the messages, the confusion, the manipulations, the distortions, all of this stuff, Many of us came for this time. So this may be new to you. This may be just reconfirming what you already know, because it's sometimes we just need reminders. Again, we came here for this. And the reason we came here for this is because the earth, she is ascending. Like no matter what's going on down on the ground, the earth is ascending. And so as she's shifting frequency and she's raising her frequency, and I mean, that's not so accurate because the earth is a higher frequency. So let's say the energies on the earth is shifting frequency. And so the entire place is, is ascending. So we've got this whole thing going on down on the earth plane, right? Where we've got a lot of people who are very trapped in the, the control, let's say, we'll call it the controlled agendas. I'm always careful of the words I use uh, on these platforms, but you get what I mean. I'm sure you do. Um, the things that are in the background manipulating uh, most of the population. So there has been a proportion of people who've come into the earth plane with a certain level of consciousness. Now, if you've followed my messages before, you're going you're gonna to know I, it's not about superiority. Of course it isn't. It is about consciousness level, which is a completely different thing. It's not about being better than anyone, but it's about being very deliberate that we've come into this these physical bodies and we've come into this earth plane to very much hold a higher frequency in order so that we can bring the light onto the planet and there's so many of us doing this by the way um, and if you're receiving these words most likely you are someone who's doing it as well in your own way even if you may not a lot of you don't realize yet that you are actually doing this um, so a lot of us are holding these high frequencies and so imagine that's why I love fairy lights imagine that there's like a whole set of fairy lights kind of sprinkled all over the planet and then we've got these lights all over different cities and towns and countries around the world and we are all connected so we're all lighting up this planet and we're here to take a stand and to be sovereign and to be in our higher consciousness to breathe love into the planet to bring in these different ways of living, higher ways of being and existing and creating. It could be in how we're creating our businesses for many of us, how we're creating our services, how we are expanding in ourselves. So I typically attract a lot of people who are here to create things in the world, but not always. Some people end up working with me and gravitate towards me who aren't here for those things, but they're here to expand their own consciousness. So all of these things play a role. And so this is a reminder because I, I know you may just know all of what I'm saying, but it's still really helpful to hear it. And I definitely need reminders myself. So if you imagine that's what we're doing, 
this is what we're doing. We all came here to play our role, you know, and remembering that even just by being present here, this is the message my guides share very regularly, just being present here, breathing your energy onto the planet you are assisting. So we're going to be created and designed to be a little bit different (laughs) or a lot different to kind of majority the majority unless you're at your you know you've already found your soul tribe or you've already connected into like-minded people a lot of us maybe are yet to do that and so it can feel really isolating it can feel like we're the only people in our world that see it and feel the way we feel but I want you to know that you are not here alone so whatever word or energy you attach to it some of us resonate with being old souls some of us resonate with being light workers way showers star seeds higher consciousness whatever you want to attach to it and doesn't matter if any of these labels and words don't resonate with you find your own way of representing it but it's just about understanding that you were never made to fit in and say yes to everything and to be obedient to everything and and to love everything here because the whole point is that we've come down here and we can see we can see where changes need to be made right we get it we we know that let's you know go wide for a second we know that how we produce our food is has got to change we know our healthcare systems on this planet has to change we know how wealth and abundance is distributed on this planet has to change we know that more of us needs to step into wealth and abundance right we know that more of us need to shift in how we are managing our health what our healthcare systems truly are, you know, what's happening on in all the big systems, the legal systems, the medical systems, political systems, all of these systems, educational systems, there is a lot going on on the planet. So I just wanted to kind of zoom out into the bigger picture, but also zoom in into us individually as souls, as people here on this crazy journey, and to remind you that you're not here to fit in So along with that, yeah, that's why we can hit on challenges sometimes. That's why we can go so easily into doubt, you know, like doubting the visions that you get, doubting the ideas or the dreams that you have inside of you. And this is why I'm such an advocate for about, you know, creating the reality that is given to you, the vision that that comes to you, that you came into this planet with and doing things and and releasing things, whatever's required to create and bring it into the physical reality. Because this is what we came here for. And there's there's so many different ways. Some of you are entrepreneurs, some of you are creatives, artists, uh, uh, loving family members. Um, you, you want the most amazing, beautiful, like loving relationships. Like there's a hundred different ways to do this. So the message was really, I really felt strongly just to pour this out to you here right now and whenever this lands on you whether you watch it as the video just gets released you may be coming to this video a year from now five years from now how who knows whenever it lands on you it is the perfect time so just remember you were not created to follow the norm and it's okay so it's about really trusting your own individual unique weirdness deliciousness different quirky expansive (laughs) too much version of you whatever that looks like colorful version of you a bit wacky or super intense or whatever your version is right there is space for all of it and I want to say thank you for being here because we we are so we are needing as many souls as possible with their lights switched on and this is what my mission is is as well to to assist with that um hence the messages so that's what I wanted to share with you today so I send you so much love and I want to encourage you to just keep going to keep believing in those ideas that you get and you know sometimes we hit on challenging spots but that's okay and it's it's just part of the journey so if you have any questions feel free to drop them below on any of my videos here um feel free to reach out you can find me on whatever platforms i'm on um just have a look in the description of the video um yeah and i'm here i'm here to help guide assist you um connect with you support you and cheer you on so that is my message for today i send you so much love and i will speak to you again in the next video very soon okay bye for now